Hey everybody! So, in today's video, we're doing the next Eno video of the week. I want to first apologize for my video not being on Tuesday like it's supposed to for at least the first six weeks before we start adding, you know, more videos per week. I had a lot of homework this week. It's not an excuse because it's still going to be planned out better. But I had a lot of homework and I have a class that is only about three and a half weeks. So I got stressed. I got behind. But it's still no excuse. But I just wanted to at least tell you. So, you know, because if anyone wants an explanation. But I want to say I love y'all all and God bless y'all all in Jesus Christ's name. So, in this video, if you see it on my Instagram page, you will see that I had made a, um, sorry about that, you know, my typical post on Mondays, um, I do a meme, and then on the second slide, I give you the hint of the next video. So, let me go ahead and tell you what the video picture is but before let me show you the picture let me give you a little jump rumble on the topic this video is about cartoon versus my favorite station so this is the drawing of the week i have the little cartoon network one the disney and i got just the nick I would have did the background for the Nickelodeon one, but for Nickelodeon, it was, like, a little complicated. Um, it's still good, you know, to try to draw, I believe, some more. But I got a little tired. I tried to, this this roll right here was the first attempt of Nickelodeon, and it was just, ugh. So I was like, uh-uh, we'll just do this. So that's how this is. This is the older, like, Cartoon Network symbol. And then this is the Disney one from, like, about the early 2000s. And this is an, uh, another Nick I kind of just mixed up, too. There's some that say just Nick on them. But, you know, the one I was going to do from around my time of the cartoons I watched was the whole Nickelodeon word. But I made a couple of mistakes and I couldn't really salvage it. So I scratched it and started something else. All right. So... That's the cartoon versus. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you my top favorite sh five shows from each station. And I'm going to rate them one out of five. Okay? So, let me go ahead and tell you what I think one out of five is. One, but before I do one out of five, let's talk about zero out of five. I know some people, and a lot of cartoon people, they'll rant and they'll sometimes here and there and they'll be like, this episode or this particular series or whatever, whatnot, especially with these recent shows, how things have kind of changed in some cartoons, what the point of the lessons and all that is. Well, people will be like, oh, this is a zero out of five. This is, if this could be negative. And honestly, in my heart, I feel like a zero out of five is pretty much close to impossible. At the end of the day, as a, I guess, a cartoon-like fan or, you know, like a foodie but a cartoon head or whatever, all that stuff, I feel like I still cannot judge something like that. I'm not a professional in any aspect when it comes to the narration writing the scripts you know all that type of stuff um voice acting animation you know any of that any even basic organizing you know hiring firing i'm not a professional so to me any of those jobs is complicated and most of them jobs i'm pretty sure of is about full-time so people are literally working and working and working is a livelihood there's all sorts of mistakes anyone can make whether it's animation script or anything not saying it's perfect heck not even really saying it's full-fledged excusable but at the end of the day to deem a show as zero or some people are like negative and this not the other when people are putting in effort in every aspect is just to me not fair and it's not realistic so now, one out of five is realistic because 
that means the quality in pretty much every single really every aspect is basically abysmal it is not it it's technically there but it's not it you know um one out of five is basically every aspect the inner the animation the da 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 it's either all of it's flat out one out of like all of it's flat out bad trash or some of them are so so bad and then it like pans out you know and the other ones are just not passable not enough so you know um of course i'm not gonna really talk about any really one out of fives they're not really my shows and to be honest a lot of one out of five shows i don't really remember because i probably only watched a little bit of it didn't really care about it for it just didn't really pretty much two out of fives can kind of go in that category sometimes too okay two out of five two out of five there's technically redeemable qualities you can there's it's probably some entertaining episodes there's inner you know so probably some really nice looking animation even you know here and there it's a mix match it's still not passable because the overall episode is not entertaining and the my thing about cartoons is my show's got to be entertaining you know it, it's got to be entertaining you know in that aspect now everybody's definition of entertaining can be different blase blase but like it's got to be entertaining it's got to be you know the feeling not every episode has to be a slice of life not every episode has to be stick sh stick um shift the uh, like slapstick humor not every episode has to have a joke every single turn everyone has to be the you know like this that and the other the most romantic the perfect human all um perfect animation all that stuff but it's gotta like be entertaining you know so two out of five actually still lacks that way too much so but it does have potential you can tell three out of five this is when we're passing you know this is 60 percent sunrise of your college you could technically pass and get your degree but this ain't gonna chance me you know um it passes there's some good like nice qualities it passes but it's just missing something major and probably some minors too things i don't know it's just it doesn't hit right but you can tell it can be on the tv in the background but it's you know it's just something's missing like i don't know if it's passion or if it's like consistency you know like things like that four out of five four out of five is great every aspect of an animated show or any show it hits it's great it's great and there's probably a couple that are actually really high going towards five out of five stars but it's missing at this point at four out of five and beyond it's really more preference than quality what it's missing it's it passes it's good it's just you know it's like uh they're dragging along on this theme you know a lot of i think animes because they they get that slice of life they're more you know mature mature i guess you know they get the funny they get the humor they get that like different types of humor i think a good chunk of animes go within the four out of five category it's just more like eh, you know like i don't i like animes personally that like take a while to get to something i like that little bit of drag personally more than probably others so like if you are already like killing off five villages of people and it's like episode two i'm like come on this is too fast too much going on especially if you're a subbed person i know that's a sidebar but that's too much talking too much give me time i want to learn people so but not too long you know but that's how that goes so it's more of a preference thing at this point at four out of five now you know how i told you about zero out of five isn't really all that possible to me five out of five is basically another form of pretty much impossible now i told you how like four out of five like it's more preferences some this is where i'm a believer within these numbers one out of five to pretty much four out of five 
um there i put points like 4.5 you know it's really 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 good it's just flat on it's like dang i don't think five out of five personally is really just possible because humans make this show you know it's your crew whether it's a small crew a huge crew or whatever it's just like there's mistakes there's flat episodes like it's a lot of things i don't think five out of five is really possible maybe episodes wise there is just that episode where it hits every quality hits every need every character it's a simple episode every character does their part it's beautiful voice acting's great everything like it's there it's there but you know so i guess you could say five out of five but to say a five out of five series come on now that's like you know a one out of five series you did you even watch it long enough for that like to me it's already it would have been off there i don't know but that's how that goes so at the end of this i'm gonna be telling you my favorite you know verses which station wins out of the three so and yes there's more stations but you know how that goes um Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. hold on hold on i'm sorry about that everybody okay yeah so there we go we're gonna do nickelodeon first so i'm gonna tell you which five state shows they're not gonna be in order but like when i tell you like the let's say one's 4.5 you're gonna be able to tell you know what i mean like you're gonna just be able to tell so we got spongebob um i would say like i'm just gonna tell you the names Sp I, these are the ones i picked spongebob hey arnold jimmy neutron fairly odd parents and ay 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 what's that name of the other one i'm sorry y'all what is that name of that show <laughs> that sounds bad but i like it trust me i like it it just sounds bad uh girl y'all this is so, oh, okay my life as a teenage robot i chalk zone would have probably been more better <laughs> even better excuse me not more better even better y'all but okay so spongebob is gonna be about a three point um five i'm gonna say a 3.5 because spongebob has its points it's lower but i think to give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt on spongebob and let me to let me add something else to this to give it a little before I'll, I'll tell you what i'm gonna add to give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt at some points when spongebob was bad in the midst of it you got it bad you know not entertaining i would say at some point, like, um, after season five, a good chunk after season five, I think probably six, seven, and eight, when they get quite low, that's the infamous, infamous low that they have. I would say probably seven, eight realm. Yeah, I'd say at least eight to nine. Yeah, I think the second SpongeBob movie was coming out they were processing all of that so yes they probably had like a whole second crew and this and the other but you know they're gonna have some originals from every genre of the show they're gonna have them over there back and forth so you're literally splitting people in multiple directions so i can see how the quality of episodes are already kind of like going down even if they did things ahead of time you have to do the movie ahead of time and the movie that's the reason why um season nine has that big gap in it and the sec you can tell even in the second half of season nine the quality just went up because the movie i believe was already out the second movie so you can just tell you know but i can't use it as an excuse because you know people gotta know what they you know sign on to and then two like season one through three was pretty good but they had to do that ahead of time a little bit so they're probably simultaneously was doing the first movie so like you know how that goes and then another thing too, what makes a series like kind of like, you know, I guess overall, what can make a series dip is like when you have a lot of major characters, not characters, you have a lot of, I guess in the show too, but when you have cast members and people of positions leave and go, you know how the founder of the show was gone after season three in the movie and then he came back for a little while but tragically god rest his soul he you know 
had a disease and you know things happened so he moved on um so that happens but like in other instances and in other shows like i think boondocks you know the creator he left for a while and he technically came back i'm telling you that's another thing that's what makes the series not really stay the longest because like or unless it's a real cash cow um because of the whole you know that so people leave and it, it's not the same it's not the same show like you know the creator is gonna have a the creator or even other cast members anyone who has a major fork in the show the, you can tell you know it's not the same i just wanted to add that that's the extra sidebar too like how i did the anime sidebar i was telling y'all earlier that's an extra little sidebar okay hey arnold hey arnold is like my aspect of the other aspect that i always really really liked within the show that slice of life that realistic it just sits back comfort show i learned a lesson um so i'm honestly gonna say probably about the same as spongebob actually because it hits the other thing that i truly enjoy in it so the same 3.5 jimmy neutron i'm gonna say about mm, three fairly odd parents i'm going to say uh 3.2 and then you know my life as a teenage robot i'm gonna say like honestly i'm probably gonna say 2.9 so that's how that goes um, an honorable mention for this particular station would have been As Told by Ginger. I know the reason why I can't mention As Told by Ginger as in one of my top fives, even though I'm quite sure by what I've been reviewing, it is going to more than likely be a top five and I'm going to actually be talking about it in the future, is because I did not watch As Told by Ginger recently enough or in any sort of chronological order because the show came out the year I was born. And I know a lot of these shows, like, even Hey Arnold came up, it was before I was born. But the thing is, like, with it, I didn't just get into it until recently. And it's because I watched the review over the series and I just fell for it. But I have not watched it, like, through and through yet. I So I gotta put it as an honorable mention because I can tell I like it. But I can't tell you. I don't know enough of it. So that's the reason why I'm gonna put it as an honorable mention so um i'm gonna add them all up at the last moment i got my laptop over here so i'll do that now next one station is gonna be disney okay disney i have the proud family lilo and stitch american dragon the replacements and brandy and mr whiskers so okay the proud family is going to honestly be a 4.0 okay basically a four lilo and stitch is going to be a 3.3 american dragon is going to be a three the replacements is going to american dragon is going to be 3.2 replacements is going to be a three and brandy and mr whiskers is going to be probably a three also so there you go um yep i don't think i have any extra sidebars for the disney cartoon network is where i do have another sidebar um mm -mm -mm, hold on i'm sorry about that y'all yes i have a couple of sidebars it's nothing major at all you'll you'll literally be able to tell um now cartoon network has teen titans total drama island season one so the original series season one um Edit and Eddie, Powerpuff Girls, Encourage the Cali Dog. Okay, Teen Titans is going to be a 4.2. Total Drama Island is going to be season one, basically series one, is 4.5. Edit and Eddie is going to be a 4.8. Um, Powerpuff Girls is going to be a 3.5. Encourage the Cowardly Dog is going to be a four. So, okay. Um, now, another honorable mention 
I would say. But really, I there's a series that I would have really liked to put on here, but I cannot. King of the Hill. I, the reason why I cannot put King of the Hill on here is because King of the Hill, like the adult, all the adult animated series, not all of them, but most of them, especially what your view of adult show is, but actually really more for technical reasons why I'm mentioning it. Okay, so Adult Swim, like King of the Hill, American Dad, Family Guy, I was going to say Simpsons. I was like, not Simpsons, y'all, but those three, those series were played only as repeats. They did not air those originally, so I, to be honest, do not count those as, um like a actual official show yes they were on the network but they're not new episodes they play reruns only so king of the hill i cannot count as much as i would like to i feel like it kind of just goes against my rules so um okay and um now i will also add this this is the other note um, Total Drama Island Season 1, honestly, was a major shift. I think this was one of the... 2007 is when it came on, I think, in America. Um, this is literally probably the first series I watched through and through. That's animated. That was on my own. Not, like, with my mom and, like, kids and you watching the show with your siblings. Like, this is the first series I watched episode. I watched through and through every episode what I, I may have been like a day late but i watched every episode i may have watched some in a repeat or whatever fashion this is the first series this show will honestly hold a deep spot and in fact the voice actor you know um voice actress i'm sorry uh for the character lashana is literally when i listen to her and just her personality yes sometimes there's definitely some little stereotypes and stuff like that but like when i listen to her like stuff in real life and how she acts and just the way she is the positiveness and all of that her just being a strong black woman that had in fact burnt a fire in me thank god <laughs> thank you jesus um to honestly want to so i start approaching dreams so i'm gonna be real honest with you one of my dreams is to be a voice actor so honestly she inspired me and i see an example of a black woman pioneering in some sort of career whether that's the only thing she does whether she only does them for so long or any sort of hiccups and decisions like that that is her right as if anyone else but I'm grateful to see her doing that along with really any voice actor who's doing an entertainment job because you're taking a risk, especially a black voice actor because we already have extra weight on us and especially a female black voice actress. It just shows. So, you know, it just inspired me a lot. So I believe that. Now, um, we're going to add up the scores actually. So I'm going to get the calculator and uh, we're going to go kind of by technicals, which station is my favorite. So the first one is Nickelodeon. So I got the 3.5, you know, I got the. So give me just a second, everybody. But I want to know, you know. I was going to ask y'all how y'all doing, <laughs> how y'all doing like this is alive, you know, sometimes just to keep the talking going. And I know what you're all, if anyone does make a comment, what y'all thinking like, why didn't you do this earlier? But sometimes, you know, I have like this opinion where like, if you get too like deep into like scripting things, especially things like that are supposed to be like entertaining and stuff like that. I don't know, it just, it doesn't seem sincere, so. Now, I could have probably did this, like, a little bit better. I can admit, of course. But, you know, it was just have fun, you know? It's the start. At first, I will also tell you this as a side note. Um, I did try doing this video one time already 
with a mukbang. I got some seafood and I was trying to do this one other time. But the video, I was just too indecisive. I was too distracted. I was pausing too much. I didn't like it. It wasn't, you know, I understand being laid back, but it was like a little too, you know, you know, it was a little too, um, not right. It wasn't right. Uh-oh, sorry about that. Here, I'm about to clear this. Sorry. Just give me a second, y'all. But it just, it wasn't um all the way. You know, it was too far off with me. Um, I didn't think that was appropriate content for you. Now, if it was alive or if I was chilling with my homegirls and stuff like that, you know, they would, we would be able to talk to each other out, you know, about things. Like, oh, stay with this. and But it it just wasn't it. it. I don't know. It just wasn't it. Wow. Wow. This is actually a little bit of a shock. I'm, that sounds bad to say, but I got a little bit of a shock with adding up some of these tallies. I actually thought something else was going to be in a different place. Um, but nope. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay, y'all, I am almost ready. Sorry about that little pause. I'm still learning how to do certain edits and stuff, so I know what you're thinking. Why don't you edit that out? But it's just like, I don't know. You know, I'm just... I'm getting there. And I got the results, everybody. I got the results. So this is the total. Nickelodeon had 16.1. So we're going to say 16 because that point one isn't really going to be doing too much with us. Um, now, Disney had 16.5. We are going to round this up. So that's going to be 17. And Cartoon Network had 21. So Nickelodeon actually station is actually lower than Disney. And that was my shock. But this was not a shock. So if you can tell by the types of shows that I watch and how I kind of talk to you, probably not 100% the types because, hey, Arnold's over here and this is pretty great to me. You know, and it's the slice of life example. Well, um, sorry. <laughs> I was looking around in there. But basically, my station of choice is Cartoon Network. It's Cartoon Network, y'all. This is my favorite station. Now, of course, there's individual series that are, like, really high from each station. Look, Disney, which I thought was actually going to be last, um, has the Proud Family, which is 4.0. That's really high, honestly. Um, so, I'm just saying, hey. So, it is Cartoon Network, y'all. That's my option. And, um, yeah. That is my favorite network. And, you know, too, my favorite series was on there. 4.8 out of 5 stars. So, you already know I'm gonna just be in there. That probably helped the score a lot. But, Total Drama Island score was very high, too. And T Titans was pretty decently high. And, in fact, all of them, except for Powerpuff Girls, was above four. So, you can already tell. Um, if you also, too, on my other scores that are, like, really high like this, there are, there are some differences. Not, like, the world's hugest differences between the series, but there's definitely differences and significant differences. You know, Courage the Cowardly Dog is nothing like Total Drama Island. <laughs> They're opposites, you know? One of them, Courage the Cowardly Dog is still, it's serious, but it's like childlike 
and it's like realisticness and then like total drama island is not serious but like you know it's like mature like with it's like you know with what's around you know people wise and all of that stuff it's literally they're almost like polar opposites you know a small cast a giant cast you know you know like a getaway staying at home animals humans all that stuff so you know it shows like probably with everybody you know there's things that they like and that they don't like in series and stuff and you know and that's just the way we are you know so we enjoy what we enjoy sometimes it's a little bit more complicated to explain you know just don't have hatred or anything for anybody you know especially with people who have like diverse tastes and stuff that doesn't harm you you know so i want to say thank y'all all for watching my youtube video i know it's a little bit longer we're definitely under an hour and my goal is 30 to 40 minutes at most you know we don't want to do too long so i want to say again i'm grateful for each and every one of y'all for watching i know this is late and we're going to just get better next week. The short course is about to end. The course is only three and a half weeks. So after this, the summer courses, are yes, they're in. But it's nowhere near the same amount. Like with the time, it's much easier. So thank y'all all again. And I'm excited to, you know, bring y'all more videos. And I'll show you my hints on my um instagram and stuff like that and in my description i'm gonna tell you my instagram name so y'all can follow my meme account too so you know be careful out there you know make sure y'all sanitize wash up and do everything you're supposed to do like that be safe be respectful learn you know i'm a believer in learning and i guess i'll tell you a little quote too just a, on this learn good habits on purpose before you learn bad habits on accident because that's really your choice all right so go ahead you know have a great night day and whichever time you're watching this i want to tell you all that jesus christ is lord and please 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 just keep going i'm no better than you you're no better than me you keep going and don't let anyone's negativity do anything but burn as a fire to make better yourself. Even if it's negativity, somebody tells you, and it's technically the truth, you know, use it as a fire to better yourself, you know. But don't ever let anybody make you sink your sail, I believe. So, a. Hey. <laughs>